this would be really useful for him. And one is something that the Squangle was doing poorly uh, for people who design solar systems. So the planners that go to a roof first have to establish what is the pitch. And the way to do that with the Swanson speed square is pretty difficult, just sort of by holding it up. And the same thing for the Squangle. The Squangle on the directions that come on the package actually tell you to, to establish the pitch on a roof, you set it to what you think it is, say maybe a four and 12, and you hold it up and kind of close one eye. Not a very accurate way of doing it. But by having this level on this bar, you could actually find pitch right at the edge of the fascia or the rake of your building. The second application I can think of immediately as a solar installer is establishing um, the found angle for cutting a rail, which is what your solar panels are installed on. Sometimes rail runs vertically to the pitch of the roof. Sometimes it runs horizontally or across the pitch of the roof. Having a device that had both a way to set and lock in your cuts and give you plumb at the same time would simplify the whole application. So I know that in the solar industry now, what people do, they sort of work like carpenters. Some electricians can figure out the trigonometry related to finding their angles, and some who maybe are a little bit more challenged mathematically might use something like uh, an angle finder that is a dial that shows you angle, and you could even use an iPhone with an app that has that, where you actually hold up a piece of rail until it gives you the given angle. Because often you are trying, I mean, even in a field, you're not even working on a roof, you're trying to set a, a solar array that is, that is gonna be at a given perpendicular angle to the sun, say on December 21st, and you to find that distance, you might hold a piece of rail out in the field until you get the right angle. And then you might use a measuring tape to figure out what is that distance down to the ground for the leg that holds this up. But this tool would simplify the process easily. I mean, you could pre-establish your cuts by, you know, like, on my plans, my plans for designing the solar system or building the solar system might say that all of my panels need to be set at 22 degrees. And so you can set it at 22, as long as it had graduations there. And now I can make both plumb cuts and cuts that establish the angle. So often, if you read a solar text, it might say that you should use your latitude to determine that. Oh. To deter so our latitude is around 38 to 39 degrees. You guys are more like 38, we're more like 39, uh, a little ways up north. and. If, if by using that number, that would give you that middle of the production road. But then you also have the issue of dealing with um, the typical pitch of a roof, which is commonly 4 and 12, 6 and 12, 8 and 12. Sometimes you have a real steep roof, like on a Victorian house. And of course, when you're building two arrays, you have to figure out what are the, what are the distances between these two arrays. And this is normally where you have to rely on trigonometry so that you don't, the one array in the winter doesn't shade the back array. So you, because shading even on the bottom row of the cells of the panel is going to really cut down production. So you have to figure out what is the dif what is the distance I need to set these two arrays apart, that kind of thing. But again, this would really simplify the process field yet, but I imagine that if it was available for purchase, I'd probably When it comes to the education for solar installers, right now they're like, in, I know in California, for example, there's no, um, there's no trade program for solar. There, there may be a class at Sierra that, that is like a pre, I call it NAPSA, National Associate, or National, nationally accredited certified electrician, or, you know, there's a certification for, for solar that, that gives you um, some of the design science, but it doesn't actually, it's not as hands-on as it could be. And so when it comes to uh, solar training, it's almost all on the job. And so if you have an employer that really knows his business or her business, then they can, they can transfer this knowledge. But not, as far as I know, at least in California or even locally, there's no solar design school yet. There's no trade school that teaches us.